His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sahir Palace yesterday the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Italy, Fiji, Montenegro, Kyrgyzstan, and the Netherlands. Ambassador of the Republic of Italy, Domenico Bellato, arrived at this where he was welcomed by the head of the Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. Then the ambassador of the Republic of Fiji, Kamlesh Prakash, arrived at Sahir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of the Royal Protocol, and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The newly appointed ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between them. The ambassador of Montenegro, Darko Jukokovic, arrived at Sahir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of the Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between them. Then the ambassador of the Republic of Kyrgyzstan, Yusubek Sharipov, arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of the Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was also held for him.
The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between them. And the ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, uh, Franz Jacob Potutot, arrived at El Sahir Palace where he was met by the head of the Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between them. His Majesty underlined with the audience the close relations linking Bahrain and their countries and their progress in many areas. And for their part, the ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of their leaders and their wishes to His Majesty for good health and happiness and for Bahrain for the progress and prosperity. The ceremony was attended by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, the Minister of Royal Court, the Minister of Follow-up, the Head of the Royal Protocol and the Minister Ministry of Foreign Affairs under Secretary. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, issued today Edict 51 for this year, appointing Sheikh Khaled bin Rashid bin Abdullah al Khalifa as Director in the Ministry of Interior. The edict assigned the Minister of Interior to designate the mentioned in a directorate that suits his qualifications and experience. The Prime Minister also issued Edict 52, appointing directors in the Ministry of Interior, which are Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Ali Rashid Manter. Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Rashid Ali El Sahli El Shahi, Major Maryam Mahmoud Qasim Al Barduli, and Major Hassan Jessam Mohammed Hassan. The edict assigned the Minister of Interior to designate the mentioned in directorates that suits their qualifications and experiences. His Royal Highness issued Edict 53, appointing Hisham Mahmoud Khalid Sharida as Director of Engineering Services and Investment, and Mohammed Ali Hassan Boucheri as Director of Information and Follow up both at the Governorate of Muharraq. The Prime Minister also issued Edict 54, appointing Isa Ibrahim Mandi as Director of Human and Financial Resources at the General Coordination for Governorates of the Interior Ministry. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister issued directives to employ 23 employees who are currently on part-time contracts as full-time employees at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning. And that comes with the coordination of the Civil Service Bureau. The directives come in the framework of helping employees at the Ministry get the full-time contract in order to provide them with high living standards in addition to benefit from their expertise. Minister of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning, Sam Khalaf, thanked his his Royal Highness for his generous directives, affirming that these will motivate the employees to exert more efforts and contribute to the municipal service and urban work. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received today at Gudaybiyah Palace royal family members and state officials. He stated that religion should bring people together rather than separate between them and that it should urge unity and brotherhood based on the teaching of Islam. He affirmed that Islam is innocent from racism, extremism and violence as it is a religion of love, mercy and forgiveness. He added that it is the role of clergymen to teach and convey Islamic moderation. He also affirmed that the doors are open for everyone, including preachers and leaders of faith, as they have an essential role in the national march, particularly under the critical circumstances the region faces, which calls for wisdom and moderation. The Prime Minister emphasized the government's interest in heritage sites as they are important national and historical assets because they teach the world about the culture, the history and people of Bahrain. He affirmed the necessity to name some areas according to the social and cultural history of Bahrain. The audience loaded His Royal Highness' keenness to communicate with citizens in different events and support them under all circumstances. On this occasion, the Shargi family thanked the Premier for his condolences on the death of Abdul Aziz Jalal al -Shargi.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also held a meeting today in which the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed Rumehi, briefed the audience on the new development plans for state media, especially television, radio and press, as well as the implementation of His Royal Highness directives regarding preparing national cadres. The Prime Minister directed the state media to be on an advanced technical level in order to keep up with world media, properly convey the image of the kingdom and its political, legal and economic achievements and to deflect the attempts to undermine these achievements. He urged to adopt initiatives that guarantee developing the state's official TV and radio programs so as to live up to the people's aspirations of liberal media under the directives of His Majesty the King. During the meeting, the Prime Minister directed to provide the official state media organization with all it needs in order to keep abreast of the development in communication. He stressed that the political and democratic movement, as well as the comprehensive development in Bahrain, should be reflected and delivered to the world through different means of communication. He also urged to follow training programs to prepare national cadres. The Prime Minister commended the Minister of Information's experience, highlighting his ability to lead the official state media organization to more development. And for his part, the Minister of Information thanked the Prime Minister for the support he gives to the information sector. He affirmed that the Ministry of Information will continue its efforts to develop media in Bahrain through preparing national cadres to deliver the national message to the world. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stated that the royal patronage the youth and sports movement in Bahrain receive under the leadership of His Majesty the King reflects Bahrain's development in the athletic field. He affirmed that His Majesty's reception of a number of medal-winning athletes is proof of the comprehensive care athletes receive from His Majesty, which motivates them to obtain more achievements. Sheikh Nasser that the current Bahraini athletic achievements represent a huge leap in the sports field under the prosperous area of His Majesty the King. He said the achievements took place because of His Majesty's vision of investing in Bahraini youth. He affirmed that Bahraini champions acted as messengers in different global sports forums and asked Bahraini athletes to put more efforts into future championships. The Chief of Public Security, Major General Tarek Al Hassan, inspected the sites of the GCC joint exercise Arabian Gulf Security One that will be held in Bahrain this month. The Major General, who is also head of the Events Control Authority, inspected the buildings and establishments of the field areas in addition to the preparations of the administration team to meet the goals of the event that is considered as first of its kind. He asserted that the exercise offers high levels of training and exchange of information and expertise as part of security cooperation and coordination to tackle regional challenges and threats. He said that among the event's goals is training on dealing with different security incidents, including counter-terrorism. He highlighted the importance of reinforcement of efforts to promote GCC joint security work and unification of concepts of dealing with threats.
The Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications participated in the GTEx 2016 in Dubai. The participation comes under Bahrain's National Pavillon under the patronage of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Engineer Kamal Mohammed, along with 32 participants from the public and private sectors. The participation reflects Bahrain's keenness to enhance its status in such international events, in addition to coping with recent developments in information and communication technology. Shares index has closed at 1,143.80 points, marking a decrease of 0.84 points below the previous closing. This decrease was due to the fall in the services sector and industrial sector. Results indicated that 48 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,504,343, worth the value of 289,198 Bahraini dinars. Investors traded mainly in the commercial banks sector, representing 40% of the total value of shares traded. The Central Bank of Bahrain announced that this week's 70 million Bahraini dinars issue of government treasury bills has been fully subscribed by 100%. The bills carrying a maturity of 91 days are issued by the CBB on behalf of the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The issue date of the bills is 5th of October 2016 and the maturity date is 4th of January 2017. The weighted average rate of interest is 2.03% compared to 2.02% for the previous issue on the 28th of September 2016. The approximate average price for the issue was 99.498% with the lowest accepted price being 99.466%.